Hey guys, it's Yvette and I am here with my clue number seven for the large Name of the Rose Cotton Cuts Puzzle Mystery Quilt. That's a mouthful. <laughs> okay, well, we have made it to our clue number seven. I'm really excited. Um, I'm a little bit behind uh, because actually I'm pretty sure I have everything to do uh, clue number eight as well. But that's going to be a different video, of course. Um, so I went ahead and made sure that I have all my pieces and I do. You will get a sheet like this that will give you um, everything that you're supposed to have in the pack and everything that you are going to um, finish making for the clue. And then on the opposite side are all the instructions on how to make those pieces. Okay, so since we have all of our pieces here, I'm going to just scooch them over so that we'll have a space to work. Let's see, put that there. And then these guys. Okay. So, and then of course I have my little fabric cheat sheet that we get um, in the very first clue and definitely make sure that you keep this um, for the duration of the quilt so that you know which fabric to use um, when indicated on the instructions. Okay, so we're gonna start with section 7A. We are going to have two sections in this particular um, clue and so this is going to be for A. Now we are going to make eight pieces in this one. So the first thing we're going to get is eight E large triangles and E is the dark pink. Um, looks kind of purple but anyway so we're going to take that and we need eight of them. I'm supposed to be getting triangles. What am I doing? <laughs> Hold on one moment. Sorry, been a long day. Okay, now we cook them with grease. <laughs> who came up with that? I would love to know who came up with saying that and why they thought that was like a great saying. It probably had something to do with um, when they used to only have like oil or something like that to cook with. Very basic things. Okay, now we're going to be making eight flying geese. Uh, so in order to do that, the um, pieces that we're gonna sew to the top right and left are going to be letter C, which is the little, I call it like a little pink hash mark. Um, at least for mine, this is my, uh, this is the, um, which one is this? Oh, it's Team Bewitched, it says it right on the bottom there. So this is Team Bewitched. And you just put one uh, to the top left and right of all of the large triangles. Okay, now for me, when I'm putting together um, flying geese, I like to make sure that I do one first one side and then the other. Uh, if you guys watch me often enough, you know that I always just start with the left and then finish with the right. Um, so just on this one, since it's probably uh, more centered in what you're looking at, you'll just take um, the top left and you'll turn it right sides together with the large triangle. And we are going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance here. And then they want you to press toward C, which is this pink hashtag. So when you come back, you will fold that over and you're gonna press toward C and after you finish pressing, you're then going to take the top right side, fold it right sides together, and then sew a quarter inch seam allowance here, and again, press toward C. So you'll come back and you'll press that open, and then you'll have your finished flying geese. So we're gonna go ahead and do all eight of these, come back and move on to step number two.
Okay guys, so it has been a couple days and um, I have these flying geese made and now we are ready to go on to the next step. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rectangle E, which are these guys, and I'm going to attach one to the bottom of each of these guys. So what I will do, oops, that's two of them. Um, what I'll probably do is I will take the top one and fold it down right sides together. And I'm going to do it that way just so that I can make sure that I am not um, causing one of these seam allowances to like fold over or anything like that. Um, so usually if this one is on the top, then it's just much more visible and I can see exactly where my stitches are going. So I'm going to sew a a uh, quarter inch seam allowance right here on all eight of these and we'll come back and be ready for number three. Okay, so I have sewed our letter E rectangles to the bottom, and now we are going to sew the letter A rectangles to the top. And um, that's these white ones. Hopefully yours are not full of cat hair. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe they nap on all of my fabric while I'm not here. Who knows? It's very soft. And I see, I'm always constantly trying to get all these little hairs off. Okay. Um, <laughs> Okay, so we're going to be sewing these to the top. Um, and what I would do is I will have um, them like this. I will flip that down and we will sew a quarter inch seam allowance right here. Um, there's a possibility, I may think about doing it this way for the same reason as um, doing this side first. And that is so I can keep this seam and I can see exactly where the point is and keep that point. Um, either way, you just want to make sure that you are sewing the seam allowance here. And we are going to do that for all eight of these pieces. And then we will come back. Those pieces or, or these pieces, once we sew um, this top piece on are going to be the finished product of 7A. So when we come back, we'll be starting 7B. Okay, so we have these pieces completed, and this is um, section 7A. It's complete. And so I will label these 7A, and now we can move on to the instructions for 7B. And I am still pulling off cat hair. Okay, so I'm just going to scooch those over just a bit. And now we are going to make um, another set of flying geese. This time we're going to um, make four sets. I'm going to start with the large triangle of fabric B, which is this fabric for me. 
and I am going to be adding on uh, the two small triangles of fabric A, which are these guys, again, with some kitty hair everywhere. Okay, um, <laughs> so we have four of them. Let's just go ahead and lay these out. And then we are going to, I'm just gonna take a couple, we are going to attach these to either side of each of the large triangles. And I normally start on the left side. So I will take um, this guy and flip them over, right sides together, and stitch a quarter inch seam allowance here. Then we wanna press toward A, which are the little triangles, and after we press the left side, we'll come back and we'll attach the right side by folding right sides together and sewing a quarter inch seam allowance here. And then again, um, pressing towards A. So you'll be pressing toward the two smaller triangles. And once we have all four of these ready, come on back and we'll have step two of section 7B. Okay, so we have our flying geese ready, and now we need to sew a uh, fabric B rectangle, which is this guy, to the bottom. So I'm going to take one of these, and take one of these, and I will just flip that down right sides together, and we're going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance here. We're gonna do that for all four, of these and then we'll come back and move on to step three. Okay, so we have our flying geese with the rectangle on the bottom, and now we are going to move this over for just a minute while we make more flying geese. Guys, I like flying geese. Don't get me wrong, I, I love me some flying geese, but uh, I think after I'm done with these quilts, I ain't never gonna wanna see a flying goose again. I am pretty much flying goosed out, but let's keep going. Um, <laughs> We are going to take the large triangle of fabric A, which is this white guy here. And let me go ahead and lay them out. If I can get them to part with each other. They just don't want to. They just love each other so much. No, don't do it. I love them. Okay, so... <laughs> There we go, those are the large triangles. And now we are going to, we are going to be attaching fabric F of the little triangles. And we will put one of these on either corner of the large triangles, like so. I'd love to hear what you guys think about flying geese. Are you still in love with them? Did you never love them to begin with? I loved them. And I probably still would. 
I'm just kind of tired of making flying geese. I'll be honest. Okay. So the way, what I always do, as you guys know, if you've been watching, which I know you have, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're going to take the left side first and I'm going to fold those down right sides together, just like so. And then we are going to sew a quarter inch seam al allowance right here on all of those. And we are going to then come back and we are going to press toward F, which is um, the these little guys up on the top, the smaller triangles. And then after we have pressed them, then we're going to fold the right sides together and we're gonna sew a quarter inch seam allowance here and same thing, we are going to press toward F, which is the smaller triangle. So once we have all four of these, uh, come on back and what do you say? Why don't we make some more flying geese? Okay, so here's the flying geese that we just finished. I'm gonna set that aside because, yep, you guessed it, we got more flying geese to make. Um, so I'm going to take my letter C fabric. Um, this is the large triangles of C with a lot of cat hair on it. <laughs> I Look, it's on, it was on the bottom too. I have no idea how, how this cat hair gets everywhere. Um, anyway, so we've got this, and then we are going to take our fabric B um, small triangles, and we're gonna put them on either side of each triangle. So I'm just going to, um, let's just set a couple of them down like this. You'll get the gist, I'm sure. We're going to put um, one of these letter C, uh, sorry, Bs on either side of the C. And we are going to do it just as we've been doing it for this entire video. We're going to turn down the right side, uh, sorry, the left side, right sides together. And we're going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance here. And when we come back from that, we are going to flip that over and press towards B. And then we'll take the right side and fold that down right sides together. Sew a quarter inch seam allowance here and then again, press towards B. So once we have all four of these done, we will come back and uh, we're just gonna be joining all of these together. So come on back.
Okay, so we have these two sets of flying geese that we just finished and we are now going to attach them one on top of the other. So you're gonna take this one um, with the large triangle fabric C and you're gonna put that one on the top and the other one will go on the bottom. So we'll flip this down, right sides together. And so a quarter inch seam allowance here We'll do that with all four of these and come back for the final step. Okay, so now we have these two sets and we are going to sew them one to the other. We're gonna take this top one and the bottom and we'll flip this right sides together and sew a quarter inch seam allowance right here. And we're gonna do that with all four of these sets and when we come back, we will be done and we will label these section 7b. Okay guys, so we are finished with uh, clue number seven for the large Name of the Rose puzzle mystery quilt from Cotton Cuts. Uh, this is our section 7A and this is section 7B and I will see you guys in clue number eight.